Hi, uh, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to talk to you about an unusual condition called Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Okay, um, I'll explain what this means. Takotsubo is a Japanese word for an octopus fishing pot. Uh, and basically what these octopus fishing pots are like is that they are um, they have a narrow neck but they have a wide base okay so they're pots like this and then the octopus gets in there quite easily but because it opens up at the bottom the octopus goes in and can't come out as easily and these are called takotsubo um, and cardio means obviously heart and myo means muscle and pathy means disease so uh, Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy, literally translated, is a disease of the heart muscle which makes the heart look like an octopus um, pot, octopus fishing pot. All right. Now, this is a very interesting condition, uh, and we're beginning to see more and more of it. It is also described as broken heart syndrome. In novels, in previous movies, we see that when um, someone gets really bad news, uh, they suddenly collapse and, you know, they have a heart attack or they drop down dead. And they're said to have dropped down dead or uh, because of a broken heart. In fact, what they have had is this thing called Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy. And this is the condition that seems to happen in people who are exposed to a huge surge, surge of stress hormones which seems to paralyze the heart and the heart therefore doesn't contract and that's what causes people to drop down dead um, on exposure to extreme stress this is what was described as broken heart syndrome um, so who gets it usually it is women it can be men but by far and away it tends to be women and it tends to be women who are postmenopausal of a postmenopausal age okay and whilst it is true to say that not every patient who develops this can uh, reliably identify a stressor, the majority will have been exposed to a, a stressor, a period of extreme emotional stress. Now, that can be happy stress or sad stress. So it can be extreme happiness, but it could also be, you know, the loss of a loved one or... Uh, uh, or a fight or something like that but what happens is that the patient uh, is exposed to this um, stressor uh, then at some point they start complaining of chest discomfort they feel like someone is sitting on their chest um, they feel awful they feel clammy and generally just awful uh, and they feel like they're having a heart attack which uh, and so they go into hospital and when someone does an ECG the ECG also shows that they're having a typical heart attack. Uh, they then have blood tests and those blood tests also come back and show that everything is in keeping with a heart attack. However, the difference between this condition, Takotsubo's, and in a heart attack is this, that people who are having a traditional heart attack are having it because one of the blood vessels that is taking blood uh, to the heart muscle gets blocked. And because the blood vessel blocks the uh, the blood vessel has blocked, oxygen-rich blood can't get to the muscle, and that causes the muscle to die, which causes the pain, which causes the ECG changes. In Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy, what what is really interesting is that when you do an angiogram to look at the blood vessel, you actually find that the blood vessel is open, and has not blocked off. And then. Um, when you do a scan of their heart, what you find is that the heart, instead of doing this, the bottom bit of the heart is not moving and the heart does this. And therefore, it resembles this octopus pot that I described called the Takotsubo. Okay, and so that appearance is very characteristic. And of course, if the heart arteries are not blocked, then that um, makes the diagnosis. And so these patients are then told, look, you have this thing called Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy. It has been brought about because you've been under a period of stress. These patients are then put on medications such as um, ACE inhibitors and beta blockers. And then um, they often get sent for something called an MRI scan. An MRI scan is particularly useful because in people who have um, a heart attack, an MRI will pick up scar very easily. 
uh, but in patients with Takotsubo's, the MRI looks normal, so they don't actually have a scar. Uh, and one of the interesting features about this is that actually when you scan them in three months time, the heart comes back to normal and it starts looking normal again. Uh, at three months, however, um, you know, most doctors will then stop the medications and say, look, your heart has normalized. Um, of course, during the time when the heart is being, um, when the heart is suffering the stress, the heart can be stunned to the extent that it's not doing very much. And at that point, of course, the heart can be prone to heart rhythm disturbances. And that is why some people, you know, are unfortunate enough to drop down dead. However, the majority of people do get better with medications. It is believed that the reason for this is this surge in catecholamines, uh, stress hormones, extreme surges in uh, stress hormones, which temporarily paralyze part of the heart this is called stunning stunning of the heart okay but then once the patient comes off come overcomes the acute episode slowly the heart appearances start um, normalizing again uh, and this condition is called Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome um, we don't know whether there's something uh, related to estrogen in this kind of condition because it seems to affect postmenopausal women. What we do know is that perhaps a lot of patients who go to intensive care for another reason can develop a, a stress-induced cardiomyopathy or a Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy. Uh, and then once they leave intensive care after a few weeks of treatment, you look at their heart on the scan and the heart looks back to normal again. So this is what is Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy. The reason I'm talking about Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy is because there is some new insight into Takotsubo's cardiomyopathy that I will share with you in my next video. And so um, thank you so much for listening. Um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. Uh, we're doing a seminar in New York on the 4th and 5th of August 2018. If you happen to be in the area, please, please, please consider coming and visiting us. I'm going to be there for two days, so I would love to talk to you all. Um, the way to uh, find out about the seminar is www.healthy heart sorry no www.hearthealthweekend.com i'll put a link down in the description so if you are able to we would love to see you there great thank you so much um, oh by the way you can uh, talk to me through my website www.yourcardiology.co.uk and my facebook page which is your cardiology one okay thank you so much.